So what you got against Chris? I want nothing against Chris. But I just want you to give me some space. Mrs. Rayner, do you have any idea how I can get through to her? Prove to her I'm not just stringing her along. Oh, Roxy, I've missed you so much. Oh, baby. Did you arrange that? Oh, no, nothing to do with me. You were mad. I could have been killed. This is it. Finished. Finito. End of story. Sunny French Riviera, the beaches, the topless bikini girls, and you playing nursemaid to an 80 year old. <laughs> Give it a rest, will you? I'm not gonna be working 24 hours a day, am I? Be plenty of time to chat up bikini girls. Besides, she's not 80. Oh, close enough. And don't you bet on it, mate. Once you get on that plane, she won't let you out of her sight. Look, it's a good Doc. job, that's all. Free travel around the world, staying at the best hotels. <laughs> Excellent pay. Yeah, you'll need it for everything she'll expect you to do. Don't you reckon, Doc? Sorry? Stevie, working for Miriam. Sure, why not? Take the silly cow for everything you can get. Could be the only time in your life you get something out of a woman. Maybe he's got a point. Look, I'm not about to rip her off. It's a good job, and that's all. Yeah, if you don't mind being a gigolo. Oh, look, she just wants someone to travel with. Her last travelling companion was a girl, for Pete's sake. Emergency, Dr. Warner to reception, please. <gasps> So you're going to take it then? I don't know. Maybe. A gigolo, mate. Mark my words. <laughs> What's your name? Dove il dottore? Il bambino non sta bene. Sorry, dottore. what was that? Can you write it down, your name? Uh, what have we got here then? Bad case of asthma by the look of it. Grandma doesn't speak any English. All I've found out is his name's Tony. OK, Tony, would you like to come with me this way? Good boy. Uh, how long has he been like this? Non può respirare. Ah, it beats me how they can live here for donkey's years and not pick up one word of the language. Well, we're going to have to try and find out the details before they leave. You could call on Gina. She'd know enough to translate. I'd rather avoid that if we can. You don't speak Italian. No, silly question. Oh, Jenny. Good morning. Sorry to hear about your weekend. What a rotten stroke of bad luck. <sighs> yes, it was. Well... What happened? Mm hmm Jenny's weekend. Oh, well, she was supposed to have a wonderful weekend away with Dr. McKenna, but he was called back. Something she... to do with a boat, I hear. Jenny with McKenna? Oh, didn't you know? No, what happened? Is he allergic to anything? Can... Wait, you don't think it's asthma? Oh, maybe. He's got restricted air entry, but something must have triggered it. Now, slip your shirt off, will you, Tony? What's this here, Tony? B got stung. Bingo. We've got an allergic reaction. OK, uh, IV antihistamine stat. Bit of special in for now. Right. He's going to be OK. OK. Yes, he's just had an allergic reaction to a bee sting. Um, uh, allergy. Allergy. Sting. <laughs> Happy. Uh, he'll be all right, trust me. I'm a doctor. Dottore. <laughs> Dottore. Well, morning, Ali. Why didn't you wake me? You were obviously up late last night. Yes, it was a good night. So, how was your ride? Nice surprise. You knew. Well, I'm your mother. Oh, Mum, it was wonderful seeing Roxy again. Did she behave herself? Hey, of course. I don't know. Fancy going to the expense of bringing her here. I never had young men doing that for me when I was a girl. So romantic. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, don't tell me you weren't impressed. Well, of course I was. But? But nothing. It was really great of Chris. He's a very nice young man. I, I don't know why you won't go out with Mom. him. Mum! Romantic ride in the bush, the sun coming up. 
Don't tell me it left you cold. No, it didn't, Mum. And if things had gone differently, I might well have agreed to start seeing him again. Oh, dear, what happened? Well, a trail bike spooked the horses. Chris has bolted, and when I caught up with him, he'd been thrown. Well, he's OK, but I just laughed. Alison. It wasn't as though it was funny or anything. It's just I was really scared he was hurt, and when he wasn't, I was relieved. Oh, Mum, he went off his head. Alison, Chris was thrown when he was a kid, and he's petrified of horses. No, he's not. He's a terrific rider. It's true. He told me himself. Why would he want to take me riding? Because I told him how much you'd love it. Doesn't that show how much he likes you? Mum, why didn't you tell me? I just did. You know, I've really messed things up. So what are you going to do about it? G'day, Tommy. What are you doing here? Oh, I just got back from the interview. Oh, how'd it go? Hard to say with those blokes. I reckon they got it in for me since my own wife dogged me in. Ah, oh, you'll be right. Yeah, well, anyway, I'm off till they make up their minds. Hey, I hear there's a new lady in your life. Real goer, is she? Too right she is. <laughs> Not that I'm one to kiss and tell. Yeah, of course. Long blonde hair, big, slow. Well, something like that. I tell you what, she's crazy about me too. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. It's true. This time it's the real thing. Better not let Marge hear you say that. Oh, Marge and I are history, mate. <laughs> yeah, sure. No, I mean it. You know, after all these years, I finally found someone I can relate to. <laughs> hey, what's up with Nonna? Who? Tony's grandma. Doesn't she realise you'll be OK? Oh, it's a bad case of mea culpa. Oh, looks terminal to me. Well, she blames herself for what happened, and now she's waiting for his mother to arrive. Oh, we had a break through the language barrier, did we? Oh, I had to get Gina in. Now she thinks I owe her a favour. <laughs> good morning. Ah, oh, good morning, Father. How are you today? Uh, rejoicing in God's good grace, my son. And you? Oh, fighting fit, Father. For I am strong, strong enough to carry him. Hollies, verse 1. Ah. Tell me, what's troubling this good woman? Oh, she's worried about her grandson. Oh, dear. A soul in torment is a challenge for the faithful. <coughs> Romans 6, verse 13. May I? Go for it, Father. Why were you so rude to him? Well, let's just say I'm not the religious type. I wonder if he came in to see a doctor. No, he quite often comes in to give succor to the ailing. You've seen him before, then? Oh, yes. I've seen him before. Good morning, Chris. Oh, hi. What are you doing here? I thought it was your day off. I came here to see you. How are you? Fine. I mean, after the fall. Oh, well, a bit bruised and sore, but nothing that won't heal in time. Serves me right for trying to be the Lone Ranger. Remind me never to go bungee jumping. The rope would probably break. Chris, I'm sorry about laughing at you the other day. Oh, don't apologise. You were meant to laugh. That's the only reason I did it. It's nothing like more than falling off a horse to give someone a good laugh. Mum told me about you and horses. Yeah, well, I guess that just makes me even more of an idiot, doesn't it? Some people never learn. Anyone who tries that hard to impress a girl, well, they're my type of idiot. What are you saying? I think I've had enough time to make up my mind. Does this mean you're going to give us a second chance? Always am, Marge. Well, you weren't when you came in. Well, there's no point being grouchy all day, is there? Well, what happened to cheer you up? Marge, Jenny and I are going out. Will you take any messages? Certainly, Dr McKenna. Shouldn't be more than an hour or so. Right. I wonder where they're off to. He's probably taking her out to lunch. Yeah, probably. No harm in that. She deserves it all the hours she puts in. No harm at all. No harm at all. Morning, Chris. Marge. Tom, how are you? Medication keeping up to scratch? I'm so fit I'm dangerous. Ah, <laughs> good on you. So how are things, Marge? 
Why do you care? Well, I'm just trying to make conversation. Just because we're not together anymore doesn't mean we have to be strangers. Doesn't it? How kind of you. Well, I'm fine. Stuart's fine. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? Went to a nice restaurant last night. Terrific food. We heard about it from a friend. We? Um, me and my friend. Oh. You'd be talking about this wonderful new lady friend, I suppose. Intelligent, good-looking, understanding, non-existent. Hey? Oh, for Pete's sake, Tom, don't go on. I've known you for far too long. You're just trying to make me jealous by talking about this girlfriend rubbish. Well, it won't work, sorry. Who on earth would find you attractive enough to go out with? Yes, you're probably right. Maybe I should just curl up and die somewhere. What shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world but loses his soul? Depends whether he can write it off against tax or not. I don't think you're taking the Lord's word seriously, my daughter. Look, Sebastian, it's a bit late for me to start wearing sackcloth and ashes and throwing myself on the good Lord's mercy. I'll just take my chances when my time comes, if that's all right with you. Oh, it's never too late. I'll pray for you. Dear God in heaven, take this one. Hallelujah, a miracle. I was praying for salvation and it's arrived. Oh, it must be time for my enema. I'll just get my clothes off. I'll uh, leave you to it. Oh, you don't have to go, Father. I'm sure you've seen a naked woman before. Why didn't I think of that before? Bible bashers, do me a favour and keep that man away from me. Uh, you got it. So, uh, how are you feeling? I'm fine. That's good. Once the doctors have uh, taken a look at your test results, you can check out. Is there anything else I can do for you? Yes. You can get me your passport so I can arrange some visas for you. My travel agent's marvellous. He does all of that. Yeah, well, I haven't sort of quite made up my mind yet. Oh, piffle. You know it's the best opportunity you've ever had. An offer like this doesn't come every day, you know. Yeah, I know. I was thinking of six weeks on Lemnos. I think it's a little too long. Seen one Greek island, you've seen them all. Hope you're not including me in dinner. Oh, it won't be wasted. Those flatmates of yours need feeding up. You're going out? Yep. I've got a date. Mm, I don't have to ask who with. I'm really glad you two got back together again. Yeah. So now you can go home happy that you've arranged the rest of my life for me. Yeah. <laughs> Mum? Mm -hmm. When are you going home? Oh, no rush. Unless you want to get rid of me. No, no, of course not. It was just that... Won't Dad be wanting to see you? Oh, he's so busy around the farm, he probably hasn't even noticed I'm not there. Except at meal times, of course. Everything's all right between you and Dad, isn't it? Of course it is. Why do you ask? It was just the other night you seemed to be sniping each other. Oh, well, we've been sniping each other for 25 years. But you've never been away from him this long, ever. No, and that's exactly why I need a holiday. A break from that damned farm. And the routine. I don't have to worry about you kids anymore. Your father can look after himself. So I've got a bit more time to myself. But what do you find to do all day, Mum? I mean, surely you've done enough shopping. Hey, and you see more of Auntie Jean in the last few days than you ever have. Well, don't you worry about me. I can keep myself amused. G'day, Jen. Oh, hi, Tom. And Jean is out the back fixing me a sandwich. Fair enough. I just want a paper. Tell her the money's there, will you? Sure. Tom, I know it's none of my business. But do you realise how upset Marge is? I was pretty upset too when she dobbed me in like that. I understand that. But do you really have to be so cruel to her? Cruel? The story about the new woman in your life. She's upset enough that you've moved out. Do you have to twist the knife? Who says it's a story? <sighs> oh, come on, Tom. Oh, you think I'm past it, do you? Like Marge does? Of course not. I didn't say that. Well, for your information, and everyone else's, there is a new lady in my life. She is good-looking, intelligent, and understanding. And she does exist. I must say you did wonders calming Mrs. Capaldo down. I suppose you have to learn Italian as part of your training. <laughs> oh, is that what it was? Didn't you speak to her? No, I find the language of the scriptures as universal, my child. Well, I'm grateful you came in when you did. Yes, I try and get round all the clinics and the hospitals in the area. 
I find a word of comfort for those who are suffering. Yes, it's something the medical staff don't often have time for. Mm. Well, I must away. Hie thee to the hills to spread the word of God. Leviticus 11, verse 13. <laughs> See you next time you come in. Indeed, my child. Goodbye, Doctor. Goodbye, Father. And remember, the hills are alive with the sound of music. Rogers and Hammerstein. <laughs> you may not be religious, but you could show a little respect. They do a lot of good. Oh, I agree. I have a lot of respect for clergymen. <laughs> well, Miriam, what have you got in here? Just a few essentials. Well, you've only been here two days. How much luggage do you take with you when you go on one of your trips? You don't have to worry about that, dear boy. We get porters to carry it all. Right. I get the orderlies to take these out. Haven't left anything behind, have you? Well, if you do come across anything, you can bring it along tomorrow. Tomorrow? When you bring me your passport. I must have it by then or I won't get all the paperwork done in time. <sighs> yeah, right. Look, uh, look, I promise you I'll, I'll tell you by then if I'm coming. Of course you are. How could you refuse? Such a sweet child in a man's body. Such a young, firm body. You and I are going to have such a good time together, Steve. Has she finally gone? Sorry? Your girlfriend. Oh, no, sorry, I mean uh, your future employer. Yeah. Good riddance, too. I was sick of her treating everyone like servants. Oh, Steve doesn't mind, do you, Steve? Getting used to the job. So, uh, when do you leave? I'm not sure yet. Oh, are you leaving? Oh, Marge, don't tell me you haven't heard about Steve's new career. Mrs. Carlyle wants someone to travel around the world with her, look after her. Yeah, life support to the rich and famous. Miriam Carlyle's toy boy. Look, it's not like that, okay, Chris? Isn't it? You know, I reckon it's being so active that keeps her going. Oh, you're offending the poor boy's sensibilities. He doesn't like to think about people having sex after 30. <laughs> oh, why does everybody have to read innuendos into everything? Maybe all she wants is a travelling companion. And to get someone who's also a trained nurse makes a lot of sense in her case. Thank you, Marge. That's what I've been trying to tell everyone. For someone about to go on the journey of a lifetime, he's not exactly bubbling with enthusiasm. Hi, I'm back. Hi. Well? Ma, what have you done to yourself? Oh, look that good, do I? No, no. Sorry, you look, you look fantastic. I'm just surprised, that's all. I had a makeup job at one of the department stores in town. I've always wanted to. Gee, Dad could see you now. I don't suppose he'd notice the difference. What do you think of this? More shopping. So, where are you going tonight? Oh, I thought I'd treat Auntie Jean to that restaurant Chris was telling us about. Oh, yeah? Don't you think you'd better ask her? She might have arranged something. What do you mean? Auntie Jean phoned this afternoon, Mum. She wanted to see you again before you go home. She said she hasn't seen you since the day you arrived with Dad. Yeah, I'll be many to give her a ring. What's going on? Where have you been going in the last few days? Oh, just around. <laughs> I want to know. Ellie, I'm an adult. I respect your privacy now that you're all grown up. Hi, Jen. Any messages? Yes, the police phoned. The boat can be returned to its mooring any time. Thanks. More expense. They said you'd decided to drop charges against the boy they arrested. Yes, yes, that's right. But why? It's cost you a packet. And he shouldn't be allowed to get away with it. Yeah, well, you know, he's a local kid and you never know what his mates might do for revenge. Ah, good. How are you going with those? Oh, they're all done. Would well, do you mind if I left early? Claire's due in tonight and I'd like to get home and tidy the house. Sure. Why don't you go now? That'd be great. I promise I'd pick Nick up. Oh, I didn't tell you what he's up to now, did I? No. He's helping out down at the Senior Citizen Centre. Reading to sight-impaired people. Really? I couldn't believe it when he told me. Just thought of it all by himself and went down there to volunteer. Well, that doesn't sound like Nick. I know, isn't that amazing? Looks like he's finally coming out of that rebellious stage and starting to grow up a bit. Well, let's hope he keeps it up, hmm? Thanks. See you tomorrow. Bye. Yeah, this'll be you in a few weeks, mate. Maybe.
Oh, go on. You'll take the job. You'd be crazy not to. Maybe. Hey, you're not taking what I said about the old chook seriously, are you? I wasn't even joking. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, of course. She's not really after you for that. Hell, she couldn't stand the pace, not with that ticker of hers. <laughs> Listen, if you're not going to go, put a word in for me. I could handle a life of luxury, all expenses paid. So could I, mate. Believe me. You were right. She does want me to be just a toy boy. <laughs> in your dreams. I swear, it's true. She came on to me just as she was leaving the clinic. Made it quite clear what she expected. You're kidding. Hey, that's disgusting. I mean, if she wants to do it, fair enough. Good honour at her age, but can't she at least find someone her own age to do it with? She's got enough money to pay for whatever she wants, so why not? Man, I just don't know what to do. Hey, you tell her straight out. You can't be bought, Stevie. Not for any amount. Well, everyone's got their price. You're not still thinking about going? I wouldn't be that bad. I mean, she's quite well preserved. For an old chook. Wow, you look fantastic. Thank you. You all ready to go? Yep. Where are we going again? I told you, the little French bistro with the water views. Oh, right. Do you remember that restaurant you were talking about the other night? When? Mum was here. You were recommending it to her? Carlos. Yeah. Well, can we go there instead? Mm, if you really want to. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I'm surprised you wanted to come here. I didn't think you liked Italian. Sounded interesting. Good evening, sir. Madam? Good evening. A table for two, thanks. We don't have a reservation. No problem, sir. I'll just check this table's free. Thank you. Oh, my God. There she is. Who? It's Mum. She's with a man. <laughs> oh, so? It's Tom Nielsen. Is it you or is it me? Lately I've been lost. It seems I think the change is what I need. If I'm looking for a chance for a dream, show me that street. Taking down the whole my place. Yesterday's another place. Just living. As I leave, shining and the street. If you want to find a way of searching for another world, it's hard to see. Shining and the street. This program was made with the help of your broadcasting fee so you can see more of New Zealand on air.